Mistral have just launched something absolutely amazing, and I'm going to be showing you exactly how it works. Now, this is great for AI coding, for building tools, for building apps, for building websites, and it is lightning fast. I've never seen anything like this. On top of that, it is free. So I'm going to be showing you exactly how it works step by step. You can get access at Mistral, and then you can talk to Le Chat. And if you want to get started, so if we go to a new chat over here, click the plus sign, and then down here, we're going to select canvas right make sure that you have canvas you also find that it can generate images it's got a code interpreter option and it can search the web as well but just for now we'll keep it basic and then i'll show you some better stuff in a minute just to show you exactly how powerful this is now here's the other thing to note about this they've just launched a web app and what that means is that you can now build these tools not just on your laptop not just with apis and you can get a free api i'll also show you that later but also just on your phone you can build snake if you wanted to which is pretty crazy when you think about it. So we've got the Snake game ready to go here, as you can see. That's working fairly well. Let's test this out now. So we're playing Snake right here. Absolutely living the dream. It's working beautifully. Boom shakalaka. Now, here's the other thing as well, right? If we go onto ChatGPT and we go into O3 Mini, we can just use the latest model, right? So this just came out a few days ago. It's a groundbreaking release from ChatGPT. But if we say the same thing, which is build a snake game in Canvas, number one, it's going to take a lot longer because it's a reasoning model. And number two, it actually doesn't have access to Canvas inside ChatGPT, right? So unless you're using ChatGPT 4.0, you won't get a Canvas option inside here. So you can get the code, but then, for example, you have to go to LiveWeave. You won't be able to flick to LiveWeave on a laptop, etc., on your mobile. And also you can see here it's actually not working because it just gives us game over bugs straight off the bat. So that's the latest release of ChatGPT 03 Mini, which is paid. And this is the latest version from Mistral, which is free. How crazy is that? That you actually get better outputs from this free chat in faster times. And you can preview it inside the chat. You don't have to copy the HTML from the chat and go straight over to LiveWeave. Pretty crazy stuff. Now, that was just a little demo. Let's keep going now. What we're going to do now is we're going to click on the web search and then we'll go into Canvas. And if we say, okay, generate an image of a cat eating a banana, we'll see what we get back. So this can generate images for us. We now have the image back really fast. Now, if we compare that side by side versus say something like ChatGPT or even DeepSeek's Janus Pro, you won't get the same outputs. That's almost as good as Grok, honestly. Like, it looks fairly realistic. If you were outside the AI world, you probably wouldn't know that's AI and you wouldn't recognize it. If you go on to GPT-40, so GPT-40 can generate images, not chat GPT-03 Mini. It's going to take a little bit longer to generate the image. And also, if we wait for the outputs here, we'll see what it comes back with. So this took 3.1 seconds. This is obviously taking a lot longer right now. That's what, 30 seconds, something like that. One day, I truly believe the image will appear. I genuinely, I believe it's coming. But in the meantime, it actually astounds me that this is not generated first time round. Anyway, what I'm trying to show you here is that Mistral is better than ChatGPT for generating images. You've got a picture of a, a cat eating a banana there, but it doesn't look quite as realistic. And also that's more like a cartoonish style. If you look at the, the way the image is generated, obviously it took a lot longer as well. Right. So you can see how powerful this is and how well it competes with other paid models. And the other thing to note here is like you can actually get Mistral locally on your laptop. Now, it's not the latest version, right? So it's not the version that's just come out, but you can get Mistral small, right? So Mistral small, which is a small language model. And you can actually install that locally on your laptop, right? So obviously, that's great for privacy. And you can get a llama for free. And also, you can use Mistral for free. So let me show you an example of that. So what you would do is first of all, download Alama. Then you're going to make sure you open that up. So make sure you have Alama installed like this. And then inside Alama, you're going to navigate to Mistral Small, which was just updated seven days ago. You can copy this command right here and select between the different models. Then we can go to Terminal. We can plug in that command. And now it's going to download and install that like you can see. And then once that's done, bear in mind that's probably only going to take about five minutes. We can actually use this model offline, locally, privately and it's just so much easier right now the other thing to note about mistral is if you actually go back to mistral.ai and then go to apis on the platform from here you can go down to cadestral is another model they have and you can use this api key right here you can just grab a free api key right here and then plug it into your favorite coding tool so for example you could use it on visual studio code bowl etc it's pretty easy to implement so to do that number one grab your api key then once you've done that you're going to make sure you download Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is free to download. 
Then once you've downloaded Visual Studio Code and installed it, you can use tools, for example, like Klein, and Klein will help you set these up. So if you go to extensions, type in Klein, install Klein, it's completely free. So Visual Studio Code is free. The API key from Mistral is free and Klein is free as well. Once you've done that, then go to settings, then select Mistral as your provider, plug in your API key, and then plug in your model, right? So it'd be Cadestral latest if you're using the free Cadestral API. Once you've done that, then you're gonna go back to Klein, click done, and you can see here, for example, in the billing information section here, we have zero credits used up on the account. We're on the free plan of Mistral, and you can see here it says use Cadestral via your favorite code completion tool for free. And so once that's plugged in, you can then go back to the client chat. And for example, in this situation, it does have a charge there, but we've not been charged. And so if we say, okay, build an SEO cost calculator, it's going to start building that out. Literally, all we need to do is give it that one single prompt. It will do everything else for us. You can see it's editing the file right here. I also have auto approve switched on so you can just edit the whole project for us. And it's super fast as well. So you can see it's already completed. And if we click on run command, that will open up the calculator. Boom shakalaka, we just built an app in literally one prompt for free using Mistral, right? And that's how easy it is. Now, if we go back to terminal, we've still got the local version downloading, but you can see it's only got two minutes left. So that's really easy to set up and I can show you how that works in a second once it's fully installed. But yeah, there's all sorts of ways that you can use Mistral and it's very underrated, right? So for example, image generation, building apps, building tools, no code editing, no code AI tools, like for example, Klein, the free API. What you can also do is you can go onto make.com. So inside make, we'll click make an API call. And then from here, you can just set up the API for Mistral with the models, add the connection and you're ready to go. And then you would delete the open router module. You plug that in the middle. So let's unlink that, plug that in. And then you can set up Mistral so that it connects and you know creates content for you, posts on social media for you, whatever you want, right? Pretty easy to set up because you've got a free API from Mistral, it's incredibly powerful. So inside this module, we're gonna add a new module now. And what we're actually gonna select is not Mistral. We will not be using Mistral. I wanna show you an even easier, cheaper way to use it. So if you go to Open Router, right? And inside Open Router, we're gonna say, create a chat completion. We're gonna connect this bad boy. We've already got an Open Router connection, but if you need to connect it, you would just go to API keys on Open Router. So you go to openrouter.ai, then in the top right over here, you're gonna select keys. Inside here, you're gonna create a key and then you can plug that into make. And that will give you a free API. If we type in now, Mistral free, you can see that we can use Mistral 7B instruct for free, right? Now this is not like the latest model of Mistral, but you can still use this completely for free. We can plug in the keyword, we can use whatever prompts we want, and then we can automate whatever we want using this process, right? And if you wanna make this look completely neat and tidy, we're gonna click on auto alight. And now we can, for example, just plug in whatever prompt we want. So if I'm just using something super basic, create a blog about the keyword, and then we're gonna select user as the role. And then inside the WordPress automation over here, we can also go down the list, make sure this is connected to our WordPress website. And once it finally loads, we're gonna select the content and we're gonna delete that because that was the old automation and add in the new automation, which is the content from Mistral. Okay, so we've got the keyword, then we're plugging in the content from Open Router using the Mistral. And then if we just choose where to start, we're going to take in a random keyword. We'll hit New SEO, and then this will run the automation. So it's taking keywords from our spreadsheet. It's plugging those into Mistral. It's going to write the content. Obviously, you would use a much better prompt like that. I've actually got some really good automations inside the AI Profit Boardroom and the SEO Elite Circle. Link in the comments description for those. And then inside WordPress, we're going to plug those in. So I'm not even going to open WordPress because it seems to be so slow. Look at that. Anyway, we're going to hit run once now, and that's going to run the keyword as you can see. So that's running nicely now. Just have to reconnect the API there. It's actually pretty slow to be fair when it's running, but for a free API, you wouldn't even notice this because you've got this on in the background, creating content every 15 minutes whenever you add a new keyword to the spreadsheet, right? So it's going to watch for new rows. It's going to check your spreadsheet every 15 minutes, take your keywords, plug them into Mistral, Mistral's WordPress, Boom shakalaka, we're living the dream, all right? So now we're gonna click on choose manually over here. We're gonna take a keyword, no SEO. Why not play that now? That's great in the content. And then we're just, in the meantime, gonna log into WordPress whilst that's loading. And you can create like many blogs at one time, right? So you can have this loading in the background. You can create like a hundred blogs if you wanted to. What I actually do is I create a draft post 
inside make so i'm not actually creating like a fully published blog like that would be madness right because uh, the content would be terrible but if we go to wordpress now and then we go to our posts inside the post we've got that blog we just publish it right now and then if we go on preview over here we have the keyword as a title scroll down we have the content ready to go and that was incredibly simple if you want better content check out the prompts that i have inside the ai profit boardroom because that shows you my best prompts for ranking content creating it and getting it published just to recap on all of these processes I've shown you, it's pretty mind-blowing because bear in mind, you're not paying for any of this, right? I haven't paid a penny. We're getting the Mistral Open Router API completely for free. We're getting the API inside Rootcode and Client completely for free so we can code out websites and massive projects because it's stored locally. We can run this locally with Olama and we can also get lightning fast responses inside LeChat. And so it's a very powerful model. Now, if you go back to chat Mistral, let's test out the search feature. I've not really tested out so much. So I'm going to say, okay, tell me what the first page of Google is like for the keyword chat GPT search updating, right? And we'll just see whether it can actually get similar results to Google. I assume it's not actually scraping Google in real time, but it has some sort of search functionality. And you can see it's referencing sources here. For example, it's quoting search engine journal. It's quoting openai.com. Honestly, it's not very good for the sources because if you look at what you've got here, you've got quite old results. So this is going back to May 2024, June 2024. That seems to be like one of the weakest parts of this. Perplexity or chat GPT to get the latest results on whatever topic you're trying to research. It's going to give you much more recent results, right? If we just go for a quick search on perplexity, um, we'll give perplexity the exact same prompt we gave Mistral, which is right here. We'll plug that into perplexity over here. We're going to plug that in. We'll do the same inside chat GPT as well. So we're going to select the search feature here. You can see that it feeds in a lot more recent content, right? So for example, it's got end gadgets, coverage of chat GPT search becoming available without an open AI account. Now that was just announced yesterday. If we go over to chat GPT search, search is obviously launching this chat GPT search feature, which means uh, I would say for search, for searching the web, like it's not great as a search engine, honestly. But let's go back now and we've tested out the image generation as well. Let's test out the canvas more now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it some prompts I would normally give to something like bold.new and see if this can actually replace something like bold.new. So what we're going to do is we'll have a look through some of my most recent prompts. Like for example, this one for generating a one page landing page. We're going to go back to Mr. Round now. We'll make sure we use Canvas and I'm going to say using Canvas, do this. And I'm also going to go back to Visual Studio Code now as well and give it exactly the same prompt using Klein, but with the Mistral API plugged into. And now we're actually using Cadestral for that. But Cadestral is a free API from Mistral. So inside the section now here, we're going to select all these details. And also you can select between models at the bottom here, right? So if you're not sure what provider you'll be using, or if you want to switch between providers whilst you're creating content, then you can do that. And there we have the website ready to go. Honestly, it doesn't look as beautiful as like something like bolt.new. But I'm sure you can go back and forth with it. You can tweak it. I also think that this has vision, which I'll show you in a second. But basically, you can use that to clone websites and it has built out a website. I'm not that impressed with it. I'm not going to BS you and tell you that's great when it's not. And if we open up a new chat now, what I'm going to do is inside here, I'm going to take a screenshot of my own website and I'm going to see if I can clone websites using Mistral. So if we go back to the chat, then we're going to plug that in so we can upload screenshots. And we're going to say using Canvas replicate this website and clone it and we'll see what we get back from that now whilst that's running in the background let me go back to visual studio and inside client you can also do something really interesting so if we select open router as the api so we're going to type in free inside the model section right inside the model section you get all of these free apis but we're specifically going to focus on mistral right mistral ai now we've actually got the code back from mistral latency right here it took 40 seconds to generate that and if we test that out in LiveWeave, I don't know why it's not showing it inside the canvas, but if we take that into LiveWeave, like you can see right here, we can preview the code. So this is the code directly from Mistral. And you can see it's replicated the website. Again, it doesn't look that great, but it's copied the brand colors, copied the copy. And with a bit of back and forth, you could probably get something half decent out of that. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get some of my best prompts, tips, workflows, and weekly calls from me, feel free to join the AI Profit Boardroom. And if you want to get a free SEO strategy session, feel free to get that link in the comments description. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot. On this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a free SEO domination plan. Discover the secrets of SEO link building. We'll answer any questions you have. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank your competitors in link building. 
now to 10 ACSEO traffic based on what's working for us. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.